Hello, hello, hello! Hi guys, Zoe Murray here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a special one because it marks the closure of Cezanne's fall collection. It is the last item I had on my list and if you follow my channel, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Ilana dress. God, this dress was announced in pre-fall and then week after week it was just delayed and I just got it. It arrived last week right before the winter drop, which by the way, I shopped. So there will be a winter preview coming soon, as soon as I get items. But the Alana dress is still in stock. They keep bringing the blue color version as well. And I have a feeling that this silhouette will keep coming back in future collections with different fabrics. So that's why I want to show you how it fits, all the details, I give you ideas how to style it. So if you're on the fence, you're trying to decide if you want to get it, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Um, also, if you watch my videos and if you're a fan of Cezanne, you probably know about the Leon sweater. And the one I'm wearing right now is a great alternative to it. I really wanted to share it with you guys because this one is 100% cashmere. And this golden brow color is gorgeous. Uh, when I shared with you about the Leon sweater, many of you said that you love it, but it's a little bit too itchy for your taste. So this one has zero itch. Also, the cut is more form-fitting and feminine compared to the more boxy Leon. And last but not least, Everlane has different colors than Cezanne. So maybe if you're on the market for a red one, they have it. So definitely check it out. I'm going to link to it in the description of this video. And while we're on this topic, maybe you want to connect with me on Facebook. I have a group called Zori Mori Blog. I'm going to also include the link in the description of this video. But basically, as soon as I find cool things like this sweater, I put them on the group because between filming and publishing the videos, things sell out and, you know, I get delayed. This is not my full-time occupation, unfortunately. So um, connect with me on Facebook. I check it every day. If you have questions, definitely like message me there. It will be more like instant connection between us. I would love to see you there. All right, without any further ado, let me show you the famous Alana dress. Ta-da, here is the dress and I went with my usual size 34. There is a rumor that Cezanne will start releasing one size below 34. I'm still waiting for that. For some items, I can definitely size down. I have to say that Alana dress in 34, it's a good fit. I was initially a bit worried about the deep v-neck i don't have large breasts you know my chests are pretty flat so when i have a deep v i'm very bony here and i'm kind of self-conscious i was worried that it's not gonna look good but actually the overall cut of the bust area it's good it's not like just uh, what I was thinking is it's maybe going to be a little bit saggy, but it's not. It's actually pretty good, better than I expected. I really love this little gathering that is on the shoulder. It's a really small detail. You can't even tell that it's there at first, but it's the small details that really count. The uh, sleeve is slightly transparent, but because of the nature of the print, you can't really tell. Um, I think... If this dress was in a darker color, you would be really able to tell that the sleeves are not lined. But because of the light pattern, it really works well with the skin tone. So I do like the fact that the sleeve is not lined. That was also another concern of mine. I had a lot of concerns about this dress because the overall photography of it on the website was somewhat confusing. I kind of bought it blind because there was so much I didn't know. I didn't know about the neckline and about the sleeve. So that's why I'm going in detail about all of that. Here at the front below the deep V, there is um, there are a few buttons, like really beautiful, delicate buttons that are dressed with the same fabric as the dress and inside here where you get the composition of the dress which by the way is 100% viscose I know that's a deal breaker for some of you so yes it is viscose uh, let me give you a close-up of it okay here is a close-up and you have a spare button right here attached to the label I really love the length of the dress because it's really that very sweet midi length. You can um, show some leg, you can do boots, you can do high heels, you can do ballerinas. 
I think for a person like me who is not too tall, I am 168 centimeters tall, which is about 5.5. Uh, I'm still learning the American measurements, but it's about 5.5 5 .5 and um, I have a long torso, but my legs are not that long. So I prefer uh, dresses and skirts that kind of hit the midi length around the mid calf under like underneath the um, underneath my knees because I think proportion wise that works really well for me and for anyone that's about my, you know, about my height. Um, the other thing I really appreciate about this dress is that it's quite easy to layer it which makes it versatile in terms of seasons. So if you just simply wear the dress as it is, maybe with like a belt and some accessories, it could go from spring to summer to even like a uh, warmer fall day. But then once you start getting into the colder times of the year, you can throw either a knit cardigan, you can go with like a very chunky, um, very warm wool cardigan, and that will carry you through like the, the, the chillier fall days. And then you can even put like a sweater over it, like a turtleneck sweater, or just like a very warm, like winter sweater. And if it's not snowing outside, I think, you can still rock it during the winter. So the versatility of, of it, well, along with the pattern being like really great that can transition for all these seasons, makes it a keeper for me. I do think that the color combination works really well with my skin. I got this pattern, I got the Miro blouse in this pattern and I really love it. So definitely a keeper. I am pale if you're wondering. Uh, like what is my <laughs> my skin complexion I always joke is feta cheese like I am really pale uh, my skin tends to turn blue when it's cold so uh, I'm never completely sure how a pattern works but this is natural daylight I'm not using any artificial lighting right now and you can see uh, well I have a little bit of you know blush on my cheeks but um, overall, I think the the pattern really just brings the warmer, uh, softer tones in, in my skin. So I really appreciate that. The dress is still available pretty much in all sizes and they periodically bring back the blue color if that's one combination that works for you. But all in all, I think it's a great versatile piece and I highly recommend you check it out. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the Alana dress. Do you like it? Is it on your list? Are you completely over it? I want to know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
Also, as I said, I already shopped Cezanne's winter collection, so a lot of items are coming my way. I had a shopping list and I kept adding to it, it snowballed, so the unboxing review video will be huge. Uh, if you want to see that, consider subscribing to my channel. It will mean the world to me. I'd love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.